Today on Plain Simple, propeller counterweights. All right, today we'll be talking about propeller counterweights. Uh, what their function is, what they do, how they work. Um, in my reverse thrust video in part 3, all dedicated to propellers, I showed the difference between fixed pitch propeller, ground adjustable propellers, and adjustable pitch propellers or constant speed propellers. Counterweights are something that you that, that is only related, you will only see them in adjustable pitch propellers or constant speed, constant speed props. Uh, those weights are part of the function of the mechanism to adjust the pitch of the propellers. Um, and I'm gonna, this is what we're looking at today, their function and how they perform that function. The pitch of the propeller is a balance between two forces, two or more forces acting against each other. In this case, you have oil pressure, engine oil pressure, which is governed by the governor, the propeller pitch governor, which is in this engine is down here, and that regulates the pressure of oil that comes to the propeller hub. The that is one of the forces. The, the other second most prevalent, most important force would be the centrifugal force created by these weights, these counterweights. As the propeller is spinning, it spins in a plane of rotation. Imagine the plane that the propeller is spinning on that describes a disc. That is the plane of rotation. As any gyroscope, as any rotating mass, any mass away from that plane of rotation wants, it has a centrifugal force wanting it to, to, to bring it back into that plane of rotation. The further out you are from the plane of rotation, the more the force that's trying to pull a weight back in line with that plane of rotation. That is what these weights are meant for to literally create a weight outside of that plane of rotation. So as, as, as oil pressure is pushing these weights, rotating the, the, the propeller, rotating it into zero pitch, into a feathered position, these weights that are 90 degrees from, from the propeller as the propeller feathers, that weight that's 90 degrees from the propeller gets rotated away from the plane of rotation. So imagine as this whole propeller turns to decrease the propeller's pitch, this weight is getting rotated, stuck out, way out, away from the plane of rotation. That weight's tendency is to want to come back into that plane of rotation. By centrifugal force, it wants to kick out and get in line with the, and it's in its most stable position, in line with the plane of rotation of the propeller. The force that therefore, by that weight wanting to get back in line with the plane of rotation, is rotating this blade, this propeller blade, increasing its angle of attack, its pitch, therefore producing more power more thrust. The balance between that weight wanting to get in line with the plane of rotation and the oil pressure coming from the governor pushing it back out of the balance between those two forces is what determines the propeller pitch. What you control from the cockpit is the propeller governor which in, the, which in turn controls of oil pressure. So out of those two forces, centrifugal force acting on the weight is always wanting to increase the pitch of the propeller. You counteract that by increasing the oil pressure from the governor. 
the you from the cockpit will be controlling oil pressure to counteract the centrifugal force exerted by these counterweights wanting to get back in line with the plane of rotation therefore increasing the pitch of the propeller so anytime you see these weights on the propellers one is a dead giveaway that this is a, a constant speed prop or adjustable pitch propeller two the function of these weights is to always have the tendency to increase the um, propeller pitch and that is counteracted by oil pressure from the governor now let me show you a little demonstration a little low budget demonstration that's gonna maybe show how these work a little better okay now we're looking at the propeller sideways so we can so to make it easier to see the plane of rotation this plane here would be the plane of rotation of the propeller and now you can see how the counterweights are sticking out past it outside of that plane of rotation this I'm gonna substitute the weights and the propellers with a straw plastic straw that I cut slits into one end of it um, pretend that these the loose ends of this straw are the weights on the propeller these counterweights stuck forward in front of the plane of rotation if this is my point of rotation these weights are forward of that so as I turn the straw quickly we should see these weights here start from this position and fan out wanting to get in line with the plane of rotation and see if that works Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's hard to see, but like I said, it's a simple, low-budget demonstration. Uh, what you see is the weights start out, just like they are here, forward of the plane of rotation. And as they speed up, centrifugal force pulls them out, they fan out, and they want to get in line with the plane of rotation. That's why these weights... Let me get you a little closer. That's why these weights... Since they are forward of the propeller's point, uh, plane of rotation, they want to. The, the faster they turn, as they speed up, they want to get back in line with the plane of rotation. Therefore, increasing the pitch of the propeller. And uh, I hope that makes sense. That's a pretty simple explanation kind of logical once you understand the principle behind it but at first glance you see these heavy knobs sticking out and out of the base of the propellers and it's a little counterintuitive to know what they are um, but there you go that's that's what these propeller counterweights are how they work what their function is um, that's it hopefully you understand this now a little better um, like always Thank you for watching. I hope you find this interesting. I hope you found it cool, like I do. And uh, I look forward to reading your comments. I hope you guys stay safe and see you next time. This is just another example of the same counterweight on adjustable pitch props. This time on a two-bladed prop. The first one we looked at was a three-bladed three prop. This is yet a this is yet a third example. This one I like it a little better because it, it makes it a little easier to to see how the weights are exactly 90 degrees from the propeller blade. And see how it's just a, a heavy knob sticking out the side of the propeller. That is what wants to get in line with the plane of rotation, therefore increasing propeller pitch angle. Just wanted to show you another example.
and here no counterweights no adjustable pitch it's a solid prop all right see you guys i'm out